In this lecture, we are going to learn about functions, which is very important building block of any programming language. Generally, a function is block of code that performs a specific task, which makes it reusable and can be used multiple times. So when you have a certain number of instructions which are needed to be used based on certain conditions or we require to use it for some number of repetitions, then we can use functions. To explain use of functions, we can write a function for adding two numbers and whenever in our program or module we want to add two numbers, we can call that function directly now obviously addition is something that can be achieved easily by using addition operator so using functions for such small operation doesn't make any sense but consider a case wherein you're required to perform some complex operations on those two numbers for example calculating mean and standard division in the same function for a given set of data points so for this example you can write a function and use it whenever you want to calculate standard deviation Another advantage of function is that it makes your program easier to understand because you have broken down your programs into multiple set of codes. There are two types of functions. One is standard library functions that we have already used like printf, scanf and git ch. And the other type is user defined functions which user defines in their code. So let us check how user defined functions can be used. Consider this block of code. This block is your function definition that is where you define your function so usual syntax is a written data type then your function name and parenthesis starting curly braces and ending curly braces denotes start and end of your function inside of curly braces you have instruction to be executed then in continuation you have your main function inside of main function you can write your regular instructions then you can call your defined function like this for calling a function you just need to write function name and parenthesis after that you just need to add semicolon in the next lecture we will take an example of user defined function we will also check how parameters can be passed to a function